10 days and counting, our fourth press conference to urge Governor Christie to sign the family planning bill. This is strictly about health care. 135,000 people accessed this program last year, not because they wanted to, because they needed it. They had nowhere to go. We just went through a brutal budget. We had massive cuts. Here's a place where we could get, it's nine dollars for every dollar, right, Lauren? The Medicaid waiver, yes. Nine dollars for every dollar. <clears throat> Why aren't we doing it? It's about time more men showed up and to say that this is not an issue just for women. It's about our wives, it's about our daughters, and it's about our mothers. I would urge the governor to do this and do it as quickly as possible. And I would hope, maybe before we leave today. I, I wrote him a letter, again requesting a meeting, but obviously I haven't heard back. All right, so here we are going down to Governor Christie's office. Oh, it's, it's right around the corner. Here's the winder. If possible, I'd like to see the governor. Somebody will be right out. Okay. Thank you Thank very you. much. Oh, cool. Somebody will be right out. Cool. It's better than go away. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think our chances are? He's obviously there. seems very unlike Chris Christie's persona. Do you want to go out the back door and not face members of his own legislature or members of the public? And that's the point I was informed the cameras were prohibited in the governor's office. So I turned it off as a courtesy. But seriously, let's not forget that every day the governor ignores family planning is a day that mammograms, cervical screenings, and HIV tests are delayed. And for the final word on the Republican philosophy about women's health, we'll send it over to uh, Senator Joe Vitale. I've heard from Assemblyman Jay Weber, who is also the Republican state chairman, uh, that you know, women should have more babies, that the women of this state shouldn't have access to control and to manage their pregnancies and decide when they want to have children. And the men of this state who are the fathers of those children shouldn't have the ability to manage when it is that they want to grow their families or when it is they want to start a family.